What's up guys, what's going on? Sorry, it's video. Today we are back in uh, Civilization Brave New World. What the fuck? I said I'd miscalled of that a couple times. Boom. Adjusted right there. Uh, we are back in Civilization Beyond Earth and a couple of you guys were worried that I ended the series or something. No. Uh, the thing is I was just a little bit busy with some other uh, just in general stuff uh, in life very sadly. And the first order of business is to rename our city because this has been kind of requested a little bit. This was one of the suggestions and I think, hey, that's an awesome idea because what we're going to do is we're going to name all of our cities after our, our bestest YouTube friends. So uh, we're going to be naming our first city Port Royal. I know, how original, but I, I just thought that was very fitting because this does seem to be a very, uh, very just kind of marine-centered, like ocean-centered, water-centered uh, city because it's got the little water area thing right there. Uh, lake, that's the name of it. I, I'm such a derp. Then it's got the ocean out on its other side, so I think it's a very prosperous, uh, just, just, it, port, port fits it very well, and that's kind of my logic behind that so hopefully you guys are cool with that uh feel free to leave suggestions for the next city that we are about to found down here a lot of you guys were saying oh why am i why am i looking for uh what is it floatstone even though i have a bunch and uh yeah i, I do realize that i have a bunch i don't really need to go looking for it uh there are decent chunks around me i think uh, i kind of miscommunicated that i do i'm going down here mainly for the petroleum i don't get wire where the whole misunderstanding came from. It came from somewhere, uh, but I just kind of thought this was the best place to get petroleum and then also pick up some other uh, resources along the way. So hopefully that's that's all cool. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Okay. And, uh, oh, is this our this is our gunner? You can go ahead. Oh, no, I thought I was thinking uh, old civilization. We got to send our explorer there, which uh, if he is here, like you guys were reminding me, thank you very much. Uh, he can't be attacked unless I attack first, so thank you so much for reminding me of that. He can't be attacked by the aliens, at least. And now we must move these men into an attacking position. We have this explorer, who doesn't need to do anything at this worker. We will get working on the floatstone, because you guys did tell me the type of improvement I need to make. Uh, so thank you for that. Like I said, just I appreciate all the advice you guys do give me. And uh, what do you need to order? Just this guy do we make another no no it doesn't have an expedition module but it says I recommend you construct an expedition here so I'm kind of confused in that regard I'll send them back to the city maybe I need to get another module and uh, we have that ancient tomb artifact which we are sending a military unit into as soon as we get our battle suits we will send them into there also some of you guys were telling me who to attack and whatnot uh, I don't really want to attack Panasia because they don't serve as a threat to me. What I'd rather do is get as strong of a military as possible. And, I mean, America's already pissed off at me as is, so it's not really that big of a deal. At least in my eyes, I go ahead and uh, wage war with them. Because they do seem to be expanding and they seem to be one of the more powerful nations, as evidenced. In the diplomacy, they're actually the most powerful. But they're going to be lacking in those special units, like the uh, battle suits that I have, so that's where I hope to catch up and our first area of conquest will be vanguard this is what shall we what what shall we conquer it is what we shall conquer it's a better way of putting it uh let's get the gunner let's go ahead let's just do a little bit of ranged attack let's do some damage to the ranger guy let's get the explorer over to where he needs to be and let's get the marine healing up i don't want to send him into battle if he's just going to get hurt and let's see we got the mine over there we can construct a generator and whatnot but i'm thinking it is suggesting that i do this our health is looking okay, our gold is slowly increasing, nothing fantastic. But I do want to ensure the I do I don't want to ensure the growth though. Actually no, we do wanna we do want to grow the city now that I do think about it. If we put it on growth. There's really not that much to grow with anyway, that is kind of the problem. So I think it is a decent idea to go ahead and construct where is it? A farm. Uh change it to this tile plus two minus one. Ah, actually. Ah, but the bio wall takes maintenance. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, we will go with the farm for now. Production isn't a huge focus of that city, and then send this guy back where he belongs. He's got his expedition module back, and continue sending our uh, good troops down south. Hopefully find a good city down there. It'll be an outpost at first, then become a city. And I also did want to kind of uh, just, I guess, talk 
Uh, just kind of in regards to some things. So I'm going to do a lot of comments, not just on this video. Uh, although this is probably the least watched vi uh, series on the channel at the time being. I did want to mention it somewhere. Probably going to mention it across all of my series. But I'm not just going, or at least like now. I might have done it sometime in the past and that's my bad. But I'm not just going to end a series without saying anything. I, that's, I'm, if like, a lot of people are saying, why'd you end all your good series and stuff? It's, it's not that, it's just that, you know, things come up and you can't, con you can't always continue to do, like, you can't always just continue to do stuff all the time, if that makes sense. And, uh, it just does happen to be the case where some stuff came up, and that's actually why I wasn't able to uh, record too much of, uh, this lately. Just, which does sadden me, trust me. This guy doesn't have an expedition module, shit. Okay, so we gotta wait for the city to be founded anyway. And this explorer, let's send him back there. Our battle suit will almost be done. And what do we have here? Uh, ooh, that reminds me, I think we have a trade vessel or something of the sort. Anyways, what did we construct here? What did we construct? How's my attention? Uh, let's choose our production though. Let's get... Do we have any trade convoy? We got this guy. Can we actually... Because I think the miasma... Or miasma, because I apparently have been mispronouncing it. It's miasma and not miasma. So I don't know if I want to continue to mispronounce it just to piss people off. I should say it right, but it, it, for either case, I do know that it is miasma. That's the actual pronunciation, but miasma pisses people off, and that really smiled in my face. I'm sorry. I'm just a spiteful person, I guess. Let's establish a trade route. We can't get one going. Which one gets us the most benefits? I think going to the left means that's what we get, and going to the right is what the other city gets. So we could get 6 and 4, 3 and 3, 1, 5 and 1, 6 and 4. With Pan-Asia already kind of establishing relations, and in this way they also benefit a bit less. So we're going to go ahead, snatch up that route, get us plus 6 gold and a little bit of science as well. Fantastic. Continue to have our little, little navy. Kind of chilling right there. Uh, to be honest, I kind of do want to send it out. Go do some work over in this area so we could explore that. I think that, I think I will do that. Go ahead and send out uh, the first part of our fleet. Kind of advanced scouting unit, I guess. Amazing Repulsor, don't really care. Uh, cruiser. Ooh, ooh la la. Do we want another one? I'm not sure. I think we will just go for a trade vessel. Get a sea trader out. That could be very beneficial. Yeah, I think that's good. Er, do we want to... Hmm, that's a good question. We want to build something first. Uh, repair facility could be good. Network gets us science and culture. That will get us orbital launch. Institute gets us slots. Let's snatch up a network first, and then we'll kind of expand our navy. Because navy is not going to be too big of a factor. Uh, it could be a big factor, but it's going to take a good chunk of time for our navy to get from Port Royal to Axiom. So, I think we're going to try to engage mostly in a land war and possibly... Get some reinforcements. Uh, if we do, oh, if we do establish this little colony down here, what we will be able to end up doing is actually make a kind of naval base to go ahead, build up some units, and send them up that way. Give them nice little access points. Our battle suits are getting attacked. I'm saddened by this. What's puts a frown on my face? Too bad they can't do shit to me. Oh my god. Oh, GG, no raid. This is gonna be fun. And then I just got the gunner. Uh, we want to get him out of the miasma. And he's just going to be chilling there. Hopefully he doesn't die. That's kind of what I'm scared about. And we'll move this guy forward. He shouldn't be attacked unless we attack with him first. Send the cruiser out. Out to an exploring. Uh, I don't, can, can he go out in the ocean? I'm not sure he can. I'm curious though. Also, can we establish that? Or do we need the military units? We're getting our battle suit next anyways. And then we do get a virtue. We get liberation army. We end up getting... No, actually, we need one more virtue before we get our free virtue. Uh, plus 10 science when healthy. I'm thinking that plus 10 science boost actually sounds really good. That sounds good as well. So does the maintenance, and so does the strength and range. However, I am thinking... Let's go ahead and get a little bit of science going. Get that foresight, and that'll up our science a decent chunk. Get that fabrication up. And then after that, I think we were researching less, because it's been a little while, so bear with me. And we will be able to get some purity affinity. And then go for the LEV tank. Nice, nice. So we're going for the LEV tank next, and then possibly for the LEV destroyer. So that's the ultimate unit. Ooh, ooh la la. 
And then over here we do have the Aegis. I'm, I probably butchered that name, but we have the Aegis over there. We're going to be going for that as well. We're going to have our battle suit to go investigate what is going on there. And kind of continue this quest back at home. As Adam Smith said, trade is the lifeblood of nations. They're off for open borders for my energy. No thanks, I don't really have a use for your borders as is, so I'd rather keep my money, keep my gold per turn, and fuck you lady, I'm about to kill you anyway. These guys are not doing so hot. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna wanna go ahead and heal these guys up, and we got a battle suit, let's start sending him in, let's explore. I wanna send the military unit in there first, just cause that is what the quest prompted me to do, so I'm gonna do that first. Vivarium Large Complex Institute. Might want to get an institute to kind of up our science, or do we want to continue building up our military? I'm thinking getting another battle suit to kind of just stock up on the units. Because I don't want them to get too advanced into supremacy to the point where they can get these units. So hopefully we can't avoid that. Brazilian Marine, get out of here. Damn Brazilian. Uh, I'll move this guy in here. And he'll just kind of destroy whatever he feels like destroying. We could, we, could, we, could, we could kill whatever we want. We'll kill that first. Trying to get rid of those last bits of resistance. Is there like a nest down here? There has to be if there's this many. Probably in that corner. That's my best guess. And then the colonist. Where would we want to settle him? Uh, right there we have basalt, basalts, titanium, fungus, fungus, petroleum. Fireaxite tubers. We have a lot of stuff in range if we settle here. We miss out on the algae. Didn't we need algae for something? No, I think it was just petroleum. And this does further our reach and give us a bit of a military base kind of on the eastern coast, which will be pretty strategic in our assault on Vanguard, which will hopefully be the first city to fall in a long line of them. We do have the miasma to the west kind of protecting us. Honestly, I think this is a very good spot. Has a lot of stuff with an access. Actually, it does have a lot. Okay, we're gonna... This could come back to bite me in the ass. There's Tundra down there, but at the same time, we are kind of farther away from it, so we do have these tiles over here, especially with all the improvements. We should be able to get some decent stuff going. Let's go ahead and settle this city. Uh, probably, we want to get a worker down here. Also, let's move him there. Oh, I can't get the freaking expedition module. I'll just chill there for the time being then. Uh, this worker can clear the miasma. Do we want to do that? I don't really care about that spot. I'd rather start moving them south or floatstone. I think we want floatstone. That is our kind of resource for purity. That's what we are, right? Purity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we could get the three over there or the three over there. This is kind of a better tile overall. That's a one food, one production. That's just one production. So improving this will kind of serve to be the better tile. Battle suit will get there next turn. Might as well start the expedition. No, no, let's, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Problem solved. We don't want that. We want to send the battle suit in there. Uh, oh, he can actually go into ocean. Very nice. We'll kind of do that a little bit and explore. I am scared. Uh, okay, never mind. Just the alien sea dragon. We should be able to do pretty well against that. And what do we have here? Explore. Uh, I'll just chill for the time being. And next turn. Ho ho ho. Oh yeah, but like I was talking about uh, earlier, though I'm not I'm never gonna end a series without like announcing it. So if there's ever a shortage of videos of a certain something, I mean it's like something came up like uh, with Rust actually the games like with DX story is broken to the point where you can't record it with DX story, otherwise you just get kicked from servers. Uh, with this, like I said, just some stuff came up and I didn't really have time for it, sadly. Uh, those things just got slaughtered, that was embarrassing. Why would they ever do that? And, uh, last but not least, what was the last thing? I forget. Uh, kind of just like sometimes there's an absence of rust that's because we can't get the crew together, and we don't want to half-ass any videos. So that's kind of our logic between, that's kind of the explanation between possible shortages of videos. So we just wanted to kind of put that out there, and very much so with Civilization Brave New World. Son of a bitch. Civilization beyond Earth, uh, we're gonna go with disciplining him. Let's go ahead and get rid of this last bit of alien resistance. Uh, but with beyond Earth, 
It's also kind of, in the sense, a secondary series compared to the rest of the stuff on the channel. Just for the simple fact that this is kind of like different than what I normally do post on the channel. So, it's kind of the logic there. Can we... What is in the tomb? Spooky, spooky, sp spooky, spooky tomb. Well, wait, what's the quest say? Didn't I... I'm pretty sure... Is this it? No, that's that. Uh, that's a siege worm. Build a petrochemical... What the, what the hell is that quest? It's a military unit. Yeah, I have my military unit, right? Does, uh, does a battle suit not count? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your standards are higher than mine. Uh, this dude's going to be deorbiting. Damn. Make the unit do nothing. Delete the unit. We'll go with none of the above. Uh, send this guy over this way. Uh, let's bombard that sea dragon. Get some experience for us. And do some nice damage to the aliens. And next turn. I'm excited though. We're going to be going to war soon. It's kind of what we are doing at this point. Our goal is just to prepare for war. I'm distressed by our actions towards the alien life. Who the fuck are you? I'm not allowed to jeopardize if you... Okay. I, I really could care less. Uh, am, I, am I supposed to care about you? Kavitan protectorate. I'm, I'm sorry. I do not care about you. I don't care. Very sorry. Ah, uh, this, this guy could do some damage. We're not the best melee unit. Eh, nah. We were able to pull out the W in the end. Let's go ahead. Get to that. Bang, bang, and on in. He's out for the count. Battle suit getting another upgrade. Very good. This guy's going to be fantastic for the battle. I do want to start sending him back up north into our kind of main army. Uh, so we do need to transport him back there. Uh, this guy, what do I do with you? Like, I... Enter tomb. Okay, there we go. Uh, as the civilian enters the tomb, a bright flashlight consumes him. Suddenly the ground begins to shudder and the tomb is swallowed into the earth below. In the laboratory, the tablet's mysterious phasing has suddenly ceased. Now plainly visible is a message from a citizen written into our colonists. I am alive. Living in the time of this tomb's creators, you cannot imagine what power they hold, but perhaps in time you will know. I've included what knowledge they will allow me to share. May it guide our people to glory. Plus 12 affinity to purity and a little bit of science. So, uh, how close are we? We need four more purity to get to level 6 and consequently our next upgrade. Okay, okay. What else needs? Battle suits? Let's start sending him back. I don't want him to be in enemy territory, really. Our explorer? Nowhere we can really send him. I guess we'll kind of use him as the advanced scouting unit for our endeavors in the vanguard. Uh, that'd be so good if I could get the stupid take 5 HP less damage from Miasma. Harmony... Hmm. Harmony could have been a good path to take, but eh, not today. Let's go ahead and construct a floatstone quarry. Terraforming. Okay, so we actually do need a different technology. We gotta get terraforming. We'll we'll snatch that up next. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll snatch that up next. I think that's fair. We're looking at floatstone quarries and terrascaping. Hmm. Oh shit, terrascaping is good. Two, 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 but six. Ooh, six maintenance. Could be rough. Well, I guess we're gonna have to put off those plans. Uh, and with the worker, I'm tempted to send him down south, but I don't want him to die. At the same time, we could just use our gold production to buy one here, but I think it has to become a city first. Also, how long is it gonna take to become a city by chance? Just kind of curious a little bit here, guys. Please. <laughs> Process in turn for Franco Iberia. Minor powers. Ooh, fabrication. For determining metacognition is to ask Does this organism merely create tools, or does it create tools which create new tools? Boom, toolception. Uh, we can now do the alloy foundry, which we can build in actually two of our cities? Uh, possibly all three. Definitely two for sure. We have this one down south and another one. I'll give us plus two production from titanium and plus two production overall. We can build a carrier, which is a support unit with no attacking capability, but it uh, serves as a base for air units. So we do have a carrier, just no air units at the time being. And then we can do the mag rail, which is going to be kind of like the train tracks and allow us to move faster around our turf. That does raise the question of... I forgot my question. God damn it. I was going to check something. Completely forgot it, though. Eh. Tough luck. 
Oh, 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 in here. Where is the air units? That's what I was wondering. Or what are the air units? I guess that's a better question. I feel like there should be one somewhere here. Artillery, cruiser, spy agency network. There had to have been one here. Maybe it was up here? Could have sworn. Could have sworn. Tech jet, there it is. It's on the robotics, actually. Nice, we're gonna go ahead and get that to add a little bit of air force to our um, military prowess.